Join us as we disrupt the global real estate industry, revolutionizing the future of property investment and ownership. The world has changed. Future without boundaries is just around the corner. The way we live today can become obsolete tomorrow. A whole new dimension driven by the evolution of AI and virtual reality. Are you ready for the inevitable? From meme to utility, Floki has it all. NFT metaverse game called Valhalla. Floki University, DeFi, charity, and shopping. Floki is governed by the people, for the people. Floki, together, there is no stopping us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adrian's Lunchuk, CMT, Charter Market Ignition Crypto. We're talking to you on today's AMA session with our partners, with our good friends from CVI. And I'm joined today by a very highly distinguished person, one of the very great faces behind this very project, Moshe, who's joining us to talk about CVI. Well, delve into a little bit of the deep, deep secrets, what's happening, what's going on with the CVI and beyond that. So without further ado, how is it going on your end, my friend? How are you doing? It's going very good. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here, Adrian. Very glad to be here as well with you, Moshe. That's awesome. You've got an incredible team on your end. So congratulations in the first place, right? I've been uh, not only to say, to say that myself and our team, you know, we're very excited about this collaboration and partnership that we've got, you know, is, it, that would be underappreciated and they were underappreciated a little bit, you know, that would be to say the least. We are actually beyond that. We are very excited. We are very much utility kind of like oriented there because we have got a great, excellent community traders, uh, community of traders since 2017. And we are in the continuous search of those great tools. And one of them happens to be CVI. So why don't you tell us a little bit more what that is and why that is? What's driving CVI? Yeah, sure. So um, for those of you who don't know, CVI is uh, uh, the first and currently the only uh, implied volatility trading platform, uh, decentralized implied volatility platform in the crypto space. Uh, we've been around uh, for four years already, almost four years, and launched our fourth version, which we'll probably talk in more details in uh, in a few minutes. Uh, we, we've launched the fourth version around December. Um, so CVI is inspired by similar products on the TradFi. Uh, the most uh, famous product on that front is the VIX. Uh, so we are very much like the VIX. The VIX is uh, the implied volatility of the S&P 500. And CVI is the implied volatility of Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are the vast majority of uh, uh, the crypto space. And, and more importantly, um, they have the all the options uh, in the crypto space. So this is how CVI is being calculated. Um, so in a, in a very short uh, uh, formal way, we are inspired by the VIX. We also have one of the, the, the VIX creator, which is Professor Dangala, is, is one of our advisors. Uh, so we are, in a way, the, the VIX of the crypto space. I love it. Okay, that's a very brief explanation. I like that, right? Straight, short, straight and to the point, which is awesome. And the question is, why anyone, why should anyone care? Why bother? Why measure that? Why take a look at CVI? Yeah, so I can divide the answers, uh, the, the answer into uh, into a few important points. Um, uh, so it's important to understand how CVI works. CVI is uh, basically an index, and the index is being calculated from the options on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those are big words, and there are like uh, a few people, not a lot of people, that understand how options work and how to trade options. Uh, it's it's a completely different game than you know longing or shorting uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other altcoin. Um, so uh, what CVI actually does is that we take the option uh, prices, uh, all the option prices on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we use the Black-Scholes formula to calculate the expected volatility of Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
And when the CVI value uh, uh, is on 12 or 30 or 40, it means that the market expects that Bitcoin and Ethereum will move by 30% if the, the, the CVI is at 30, by 30% in the next 30 days, annualized, obviously. So 30 days, but in an annualized perspective, right? So if you take the 30 and you divide it by the square root of 12, you get the next 30 days, actual next 30 days movement, the market expectations for the next 30 days movement of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So uh, in th this is what the market expects, right? The market expects uh, that the Bitcoin and Ethereum will move in a certain way. Obviously, the market has different expectations de depending on the circumstances, right? If we are about to have a, a big event such as the ETF approval, yes or no, the market expectations are likely to change. And when the market expect expectations are changing, the CVI value starting to be interesting. It goes up, it goes down and creating a trading opportunity. So... Apart from having the index in your uh, uh, in your um, uh, follow uh, list, where you will always have to watch the the CVI whenever you make investment decisions in, in the crypto space, you can actually trade the CVI. So how can you trade the CVI? Uh, there are a few common ways, and probably others that we we won't mention here, but uh, we see traders are using a lot of different ways to trade CVI. One of the ways to trade CVI is the speculants uh, trading area. Um, we are also advertising, like we, we're also uh, telling people about it. The, the most recent one was the FOMC meeting. So every FOMC meeting, which happens every six weeks, if I'm not mistaken, uh, has uh, some increase in volatility in the days before and during the FOMC. And we also told people about it. We analyzed uh, uh, that in four out of the five previous FOMC meetings, there was an uplift in the CVI value in the days before and during the FOMC. So those are uh, the kind of events that the usual, usual CVI trader have, has to, to look for and prepare their trade. You can analyze the, the CVI graph, uh, the, the historic values of CVI, how the CVI reacted in different events. Uh, obviously, the next big, big event is the halving. I think we have before the halving, there is another FOMC meeting. So maybe, maybe, maybe this one is another opportunity, but the halving is another one. So speculants is one area which is very common in CVI. Another area is hedging. When the CVI value is um, at its lower level, um, then every big movement on, on uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum can, can result in a spike in CVI. So we have seen this. Uh, obviously, when the CVI value is very high, the sensitivity of the index is, is a lot lower. So Bitcoin can, and Ethereum can play a lot harder in the range and it won't be seen or noticed on the CVI. But when CVI value is, is low, then a movement of Bitcoin, a sudden movement in Bitcoin or Ethereum can, can result in a in spike in, a, in CVI. So some people know how to plan their trades and use the CVI index as a hedging. Um, and it is also very common on the VIX. The VIX is, um, is, is a bit different in, in the behavior, but a lot of people are using, they, they are taking some of their portfolio and a few percentages of their portfolio and that they just buy the ETF of the VIX. So if anything, you know, uh, very big happens, they, they have some sort of insurance. Uh, if you go back to COVID, then the, the, the VIX uh, jumped from, I think, 12 or 13 to 80, which is uh, the end of the world uh, situation. Uh, so this is another sector. Another sector of traders is the range trading. Um, what's interesting about CVI that in opposed to other assets, uh, it always plays within the range, right? Uh, because you can have a very steady, non-volatile market, but still CVI will create trading opportunities. So we see a lot of people technically analyzing the graph and understanding the ranges, the lowers, uh, the highers and then they just trade within the range um, because when CVI value goes uh, high too much, uh, 
it bounds to go back down. And when it is too low, it will go up at some point. So there are always, always there are interesting and exciting trading opportunities on CVI. Uh, we develop the entire ecosystem. So you can actually uh, trade the CVI in whatever way you want. You can, uh, we have the, the Theta Vault, the Vault, where people can provide liquidity. Uh, for the trades, traders are paying funding fees for the, the Theta Vault depositors. So you can earn interest from the trades on CVI. So I think that we are an entire ecosystem of implied volatility trading. We are simplifying the um, options trading into something anyone can trade. You can easily educate yourself about CVI. Uh, CVI. We have a uh, um, uh, prosperous community where they answer any questions and help people through the trading. I see a lot of traders uh, participating in, in educating and, and transferring knowledge. You can find your spot whether you're a trader or you want to earn interest from depositing in our Theta Vault. Um, so yeah, this is this is why and about CVI. Love it so much. And for everybody who's watching, you know, one way to use it, just like Marsha rightly said, so, you know, it is on those even trading days, right? That's something I often tweet about as well. Just like you mentioned, you know, FOMC, those initial jobless claims, right? Any, any single thing that comes up, you know, uh, into the market that is expected, anticipated, those are earning reports, the jobless claims, CPI, you know, at building permits and so on and so forth. Each and every single one of those can be anticipated to elevate some, uh, some noise level, some volatility around that. And that's exactly where you can switch uh, to, um, well, to trading CVI, it seems, right? So if we are to take a look real quick on your incredible website, that's something I, I truly enjoy actually myself. So this is this is the new version, it seems, right? I've used yeah. it, uh, I've used it, you know, several times I posted charts with it and, and it works really nice. Uh, there are some features, you know, I'm, I'm privately kind of like more focused, you know, on the 12 hours time frame, da daily time frame, and so on. Still, what matters to, to those traders is that the trends are fractals, you know, they can find those patterns, elevated, you know, whatever uh, formations across different time frames, right? And speaking of which, it is it is very good that you're building, you know, this, this kind of like a deep ecosystem, because that's exactly what traders need. The traders need simplicity. They need accessibility. It needs to be simple, accessible, it needs to be fast, efficient, smooth, less, right? The user interface is clear, which is something that I like. And overall it translates to, well, how does it translate to this new feature, to those new features, to this new website? Uh, and how, how, you know, what, what achievements did you guys make with, with those new releases? Yeah. So um, uh, before I get to the specific features, um, I think that uh, in terms of the development of CVI, it is by far one of the more complex projects um, that I have ever been involved in and, and uh, the team as well. It's very uh, complicated to develop and achieve what we have done, like to have everything on chain, implied volatility trading in real time, preventing front run, and making sure it's secure and simple for the users. So the development over the years um, uh, maybe has not resulted uh, until the fourth version with high volumes. Uh, it changed in V4, but it taught us a lot about how, uh, um, how to get into this market in the best manner. Um, so in terms of the Ford version, I think it is by far the, the version that we are proudest to sell. Um, uh, the, one of the challenges that traders uh, had in the previous versions uh, were the high funding fees, for instance. Uh, because when, when you think about, for instance, uh, perp trading or uh, uh, spot trading, I mean, perp trading is more relevant, but when you think about perp trading, then you have two sides and you have an asset where, I mean, you can easily, um, you can easily determine the, the price and the funding fees. It's, it's easier. For CVI, we, I mean, it, it acts differently. It is no, no, like no other asset. So we had to make sure that the liquidity providers in the Theta Vault, we had to make sure that from one side, we always have the money to pay for the traders. And from the other side, 
we have to mitigate the risk of the depositors on the Theta Vault. So the way to mitigate the risk for the dep depositors in, in the, the previous versions was to charge very high funding fees which resulted in a, a, a product where people were less likely to, to use. Um, so we had a lot of thinking um, on how to solve it and we managed to solve it. So one of the first features, features that I'm going to tell about is the, the hedge Theta Vault. Um, we basically created um, a hedging strategy for the Theta Vault. Um, and uh, because of the hedging, we are able to we, we were able to reduce the funding fees drastically so we were able to reduce the funding fees by i think 70 percent um then again the funding fees really depends on the value of cvi when the value of cvi is is very low it is more likely that the value will go up at some point and therefore the funding fee will be higher than you know a very high cvi value uh, when you know it will go down eventually um, but right now the product is, we, we see that it's been utilized uh, um, a, a lot more than any previous version. Uh, so I think this was a success. The Hedge Theta Vault is a, is a great invention and uh, it works well. This is the first feature that we released on the Ford version. Um, another thing that we uh, added is the leverage mechanism. So previous, you can see it on the trade section. So the previous version, um, had a different mechanism where um, you could mint or burn tokens which were pegged to the index. We changed it to be more like similar projects like GMX and others where you open your position in real time. There is no minting and burning mechanism, but just opening and closing position very similar to any other protocol. Um, so you can leverage your position by up to 16x. And then we released another uh, index, which is the UCVI index. The UCVI index is basically a leveraged index. It's a three times more volatile index and um, three times more volatile than CVI. So if you combine the ultra CVI with a 16x leverage, you can get almost 50x uh, exposure on your position. So this is another uh, important uh, feature that we released. Um, Apart from that, we have also developed uh, almost to the final stages the, um, the option to short. This is going to be released in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's in a testing phase. It's currently being used by specific market makers for the hedging purposes, uh, but it will be revealed for everyone in a couple of weeks. Um, we see the short uh, and another feature, which I will uh, probably tell, it, tell you guys at the end, we see it as uh, the complete uh, ecosystem. And, and obviously, we will keep developing. But when you have long and short and everything is out there, right? We, 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 we are really looking forward for the short. Um, and then another another section is the referrals, which was also uh, released in the Ford version. So we have a rebate program where affiliates can bring users and get a discount for the traders and rebate for the affiliates. We have three tiers. It's a 5% discount and 5% rebate in the first tier. Then it goes up to 15% uh, discount and 15% rebate for the third tier. Um, this is also an important section because we want to incentivize affiliate to drive traders and traders to drive uh, more traders. So this was also released in the Ford version. Um, yeah, I think those are the main features that we released on the Ford version. Right on. I mean, I love so much. Uh, I love. I love so much. You know, the fact that first of all, that it's so clean. The interface is so clean. It's so easy to follow. So that's. That's a shuffle by hats off to you and to your incredible team. What I'm thinking is uh, having a couple of minutes left, you know, is, is there any secret sauce that you might want to share and let everybody know about the Gavi token? Like what, what's, what's it, what's the, what's it about? Like what's the talking, what's the staking part of it? Uh, tell us a little bit about more about the Gavi token. Yeah, so the Govi token is, uh, apart from being the governance token uh, of CVI, which allows you to, uh, impact the future of CVI because we are decentralized and we have votes for every big decision. Our community means a lot to us. 
Uh, apart from that, um, it is meant to be a token where uh, uh, users can deposit, uh, can stake their Govi and get real yield. Um, they will get real yield from the fees that we are collecting uh, on the protocol level. Um, so this is the most important milestone that we are all looking forward to, uh, us as well, the, the team, but also the community. Um, we have few milestones that we need to achieve, and we announced the milestones. Uh, it's about usage, TVL, uh, and uh, the, the release of uh, um, a few features that we successfully released in the Forge version. Um, so we are very close to the finish line of those milestones. And at this point, there will be really distributed to the Govi stakers. At this point, um, uh, the users can uh, stake their Govi uh, and get uh, uh, ES Govi and then restake it and, and uh, eventually get Govi. Um, um, so this is the Govi token, but we have big plans for Govi. Um, we uh, we are seeing an increased usage um, on CVI. Actually, uh, we have seen all-time high usage on CVI since the launch of the project. We have reached uh, almost $2 million volume daily on the platform. Um, so we are running to the finish line uh, with the real yield distribution to the, to the users. We're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, uh, so we have big plans for Gobi. Love it so much. So big plans for Gobi. So what other big plans? What new features? What new surprises are you cooking behind the scenes for all the CBI people? So um, uh, the known features that we already announced on uh, are the short functionality, um, which we think is going to result in higher volume, higher usage for CVI, obviously, more trading opportunities for, uh, for, for the users. This is one, one big thing that in a couple of weeks will be, uh, uh, will be released. Other than that, we're in the final stages of the testing of limit orders. Right now, when you open your position, it is only in market mode. Um, it will soon be in limit, uh, limit as well. So this is another thing, I guess, in a week or so, uh, it will be released for everyone. Um, and other than that, I think that, uh, um, I mean, my point of view is that I see CVI. CVI has uh, uh, more than the tech that we developed and uh, everything that we achieved so far. We have the best team I've ever worked with. And you mentioned it at the beginning of the call. By the way, I, I, I think the same on everyone I saw from the bird nest, uh, I must say. Um, it's mutual. But, the feeling is mutual, my friend. Yeah. So um, I... I um, I see the team as, uh, as, as something very superior that can, can achieve so many things uh, together. And we don't see ourselves an, as only implied volatility trading platform, but rather than an innovative team that can uh, build and create a lot of stuff. We have some things on the roadmap. We're going to announce that. Those are going to be very big things for CVI. We, we, we are in the final stages of planning the entire year ahead. Um, so exciting th things are going to be announced very soon. Um, but I, all I can say right now is that it won't be ended just in implied volatility trading, but rather than in a lot more. Love it so much, Moshe, right? And, and again, huge shout out to your incredible team as well, right? To your great community. They're only very positive people. I see Bar as well at CVI. I know he, he, you know, they, there's a lot of people who contribute a lot, you know, and that's that's amazing because just like you rightly mentioned, you know, that's where the growth is. That's the consistency. You know, when I when I speak with a lot of founders, one thing that I mention eventually is is taking it step by step, right? When very much often rushed of a big milestones, when they rush over big, you know, leases, they rush on the big planning, they rush on the big roadmaps, you know, and they kind of like want to do big things too fast. It's just impossible, right? So immediate, immediate result of that is failure. However, taking the opposite stance, right, is where we focus on delivering, you know, even tiny little bit of pieces and upgrades and uh, developments and improvements step by step, several times, you know, a week, a month, a year, and so on and so forth. This is this incremental growth that beats everybody else because eventually in the long run, 
you know there are not many unicorns there are not many outperformers and uh, it does happen that probably one of such outperformer one of those um incredible teams thank you is, I, is, is yeah. definitely here with us <laughs> yeah thank you really appreciate the partnership with the bird nest and uh, we love you guys um and yeah and uh I mean, for CVI, we, we are builders, we're entrepreneurs, uh, we are here for the long run, uh, we want to impact the industry. So um, hopefully we will create amazing things that people will use and uh, be, you know, significant uh, participants in the crypto space. Right on. Before we go, Moshe, I do already appreciate the time and the generosity of yours, the wealth of knowledge and the experience that you've got alongside your team. Uh, for those who are not yet familiar, though they want to learn, that happen to be quite plenty in our community, where should they go? Where should they search for more information? So I think that the best source of information will be through our uh, Telegram channel. Um, uh, very responsive people are there, will help you to get you the, the right info. CVI.finance, the doc section, will get you a lot of knowledge. Uh, our official Twitter is full of uh, hints and uh, hacks on what to do and how to do. Also, my personal uh, Twitter account, I, I try to help traders, uh, you know, uh, educate themselves on CVI and how to trade it, how to use it, where to use it. Uh, we're all over. Just, you know, tap in and, and join and uh, we will help you be the best implied volatility user out there. Right on. Right, and I love it so much. Love the positivity, love the constructive stance from you, Moshe, from your, from your team. Uh, shout out to you again, to your incredible team, to the community. Uh, well, let's see, let's touch the base and see in some time where we are, right? Because there is so much to look up to. There is so much to look forward. Um, and for everybody who is willing to learn more, definitely do make sure to go ahead and give a follow uh, to crypto volatility index cvi at official underscore cvi at official underscore cvi cvi dot finance as well on the website just like Moshe said i do appreciate your time knowledge again it's been a pleasure talking to you my friend and uh, well see you soon thank you thank you for your time adrian great to be here likewise and to everybody who's watching definitely make sure you hit a subscribe button smash the notification bells you know how to trigger the algorithms. So let's help our friends grow. Uh, well, that's been ADN's Logic CMT, Charter Marketing, talking to you as your today's host. Have a great day. Thank you.